Hello students. Now we will discuss uh, on the topic that is benzene diogenium chloride and its subform is called BDC. It is one compounds containing nitrogen, organic compounds containing nitrogen. It is also very important in the preparation of specific organic compound that is aromatic compounds. So BDC, if you see the structure, benzene diazonium chloride, this is your structure of benzene diazonium chloride. This K plus says and seal mass. So it is a salt of diazonium, benzene diazonium, that is diazonium. Diogenium derivative of benzene and chloride that is salt, ionic compound. And this, uh, if you see, it is a colorless liquid that is white, you can say white solid, crystalline solid, and uh, water soluble. Water soluble in cold. In cold water it's soluble, in hot water it reacts. We'll discuss later. So quite solid, crystalline solid, water soluble and uh, conducts electricity, conducts electricity in aqueous medium cold water because it produces ions, cation and anions. Then what are the preparation of benzene diazonium chloride? What are the preparation? Preparation of benzene diazonium chloride that is only by one very important specific preparation that is diazotization. Diazotization reaction. Already you have discussed in aniline chapter. How if you take aniline, this is aniline, when it reacts with sodium nitrite. And SCL 0 to 5 degrees Celsius, very low temperature, then it produces diazonium salt N2 plus Cl1. This is the actual structure, this is N2 plus, this is called BDC, benzene diazonium chloride. And this reaction is called diazotization, formation of azo N2. N2 that is called azo. N2 generally nitrogen is called azo 2 nitrogen that's why it is called diazo. So diazonium means the whole part is carry positive charge and negative is chloride. So BDC. This is regarding the preparation of BDC. Then chemical properties if you see. Chemical nature. Already you know BDC, if you see the difference, here aliphatic diazonium salt RN2 plus Cl minus. This aliphatic is this one is unstable. Unstable. Because on dissociation it dissociates very easily forming carbocation and nitrogen. This is still that's why aliphatic diazonium salt is very unstable. It dissociates to carbocation and produce nitrogen gas. But your uh, benzene diazonium chloride that is C6 H5 N2 plus Cl minus it, it is very stable. This solid is very stable because if it dissociates, it will produce C6H5 plus and N2, N2 and Cl minus. But this is unstable. That's why BDC does not dissociate because on where it dissociates, it releases nitrogen gas and produce unstable 
carbocation that is phenyl carb phenyl carbocation phenyl carbocation is unstable that's why your bdc generally does not dissociate that's why it is stable but your aliphatic diazonium salt is very unstable it dissociates produce stable carbocation that's why it cannot remain in solid state it gets dissociated so this is the very important difference between that is aliphatic diazonium salt and aromatic diazonium salt then what are the chemical properties we will discuss first important thing is involvement of that is benzene and cl bond as this n2 this n2 can be substituted by some nucleophiles for example you can write like this that uh, c6 if you write like this c6 h5 n2 plus cl minus this is bdc bdc when reacts with s3po2 s3 PO2 it produces benzene C6 H6 then S3 PO4 then SCl will produce so in presence of water then BDC this is your BDC on BDC gets reactions as here what happens it acts as a reducing agent it reduces bdc to benzene and forming it gets itself is oxidized to phosphoric acid s3po4 so this reaction is very important formation of bdc to benzene then suppose it is first phase second third bdc that is called sandman reaction already know we have read in that uh, haloalkane haloalkane chapter sandman reaction in sandman reaction what happens if you take c6 h5 n2 plus cl minus reacts with cu2 Cl2 and SCl forming C6 H5 Cl plus N2. Loss of nitrogen. This reaction involves loss of nitrogen. So haloarene, chlorobenzene, haloarene. That is chlorobenzene is formed. If you take Cu2, Br2, you will get bromobenzene like this. And what are the other part of this reaction? C6 H5 N2 plus Cl minus reacts with Ki that is Ki and forming C6 H5 iodine plus nitrogen. So iodobenzene can be prepared. Similarly, that uh, C6 H5 N2 plus Cl minus with Copper cyanide presents copper cyanide and KCl. If you use that, result is benzonitrile C6H5Cl. That is called benzonitrile. Cyano group will be substituted, but this reaction is called Sandman reaction. Formation of chlorobenzene, bromobenzene, iodobenzene, cyanobenzene, like this. Then, if you take C six H five N two plus Cl minus with copper and SCl, copper and SCl, it produces same chlorobenzene. C six H five Cl plus N two, and this reaction is called. Gatterman reaction. This reaction is called Gatterman. Name reaction you write correctly. Gatterman reaction. 
but over all the three, this is the part of the Sangmai reaction, Parmesanum chlorobenzene, Iodobenzene, Cyanobenzene, like this, but specific copper and SCL, that is called Gatterman reaction. Then, another important reaction is Balschemann reaction. Balschemann. In Balschemann reaction, what is the same? C6, H5, N2 plus Cl minus. When it reacts with HbF4, that is chloroboric acid, HbF4, producing C6, H5, N2 plus and BF4 minus when it undergo dissociation it produce C6 H5F chlorobenzene chlorobenzene plus nitrogen plus BF3 this on dissociation on dissociation produce fluorobenzoic acid. So fluor compound can be produced by Balsaman reaction by reaction with HbF4. And this this step is very important. If CCH5N2BF4 minus when react with sodium nitrite and copper and heat, if this substitution that is Chlorofluoro substitution of diogenium salt when it reacts with sodium nitrite and copper forming nitrobenzene C6H5NO2. This is the second part of the Balsaman reaction. Directly on heating, produce chlorobenzene. If it will heat it in presence of NaNO2 and copper, it will produce nitrobenzene. So, this is called Balsaman reaction. Then another important reaction is coupling reaction. Coupling reaction already we have read in that preparation of phenol and also preparation of uh, the chemical properties of phenol and chemical properties of aniline also we have discussed. If you take that is C6. H5 N2 plus Cl minus reacts with phenol C6 H5 OH. Then the result is C6 H5 N double one N. Then C6 H5 H4. This is H4 and OH. 6 is H5 and then this is called what? Para para hydroxy azobenzene. This is called para hydroxy azobenzene. This color is that orange color. Orange dye. Azo dye. But this when C6H5 treated with aniline C6H5 and NH2 then it will produce C6H5 N double bond N then C6H4 NH2 this is one azodiac this its color is that is para amino azobenzene para amino azobenzene its color is yellow so this is one important distinction of phenol and aniline phenol can be identified by coupling reaction produce orange dye and aniline reacts with bdc forming yellow dye so this is the difference between phenol and aniline also by reaction with BDC. Then another important reaction 
that is C six H five N two plus Cl minus O N. It will be treated with hot water, warm water, hot water on heating produce phenol C six H five O H plus N two. This is very important method in the preparation of phenol. Phenol can be prepared by action of hot water with BDC. BDC for me, what phenol? And BDC can be used C six H five N two plus Cl minus undergo reaction when it reduce it produce. C six H five N H N H phenyl hydrogen will produce. By C six H five N two will convert to C six H five N H N H. But this generally done by S N C L two and S C L. But when it will be strongly reduced, you know, once on the go strong reduction, then it will produce anion C six H five. And as to filters, so this is very important. And this can be done zinc and acid. If you use zinc and acid by using strong reducing agent, you will get anion. By using slow reductions, that you will get what is this? Phenyl hydrogen. Phenyl hydrogen. Phenyl hydrogen will be produced. So this is some important. Reaction of that BDC chemical properties of BDC. Another important reaction of that BDC is if we use BDC seven. C six H five N two plus Cl minus when we get with alcohol R O H when we get with alcohol it will produce benzene it will also produce benzene C six H six plus N two plus R C L. So this is very important reaction conversion of that BDC to benzene reaction with alcohol. By action with alcohol, we can prepare benzene. So these are very important chemical properties of benzene diazonium salt. And benzene diazonium salt is specific ionic compounds and very stable in solid state. But in hot water, it is very unstable. In hot in hot water, it gets hydrolyzed to phenol. This is about the properties of BDC benzene diazonium chloride. Okay, thank you all.